recovery crew so it's day number 80 of the redeeming eden cycle tour r-e-c-t get wrecked for recovery a 48 state four-year ride for addiction recovery awareness each day we pedal for someone who's passed away from addiction and the whole end goal is to build a rehab and this is state number 39 nebraska on the ride to ragbri 2022 a 4,500 mile loop around the Midwest, Ohio to Erie Trail, Michigan's Upper Peninsula, Glacier, Glacier National Park, Yellowstone National Park, Cowboy Trail, and East to Ragbri the last week of July. And it's all to raise awareness that addiction recovery options are available, that you don't have to die in your addiction. There's churches, Celebrate Recoveries, and Rescue Missions all over the nation, all over the world that just want to help you, talk to you, and love you if you find yourself battling addiction. So Liam and I decided to hop a train this morning. Uh, we got the caboose. What you think about that, buddy? Oh, uh, we have... They left this here. Yeah, they got all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, so we're actually at a museum. And this is like an actual old uh, caboose for a train. Uh, we're here in Bassett. And we're going to head east today. I'm not quite sure how far, um, but we do feel, it feels like we got a tailwind. I'm hoping that that holds true. We're going to go grab some breakfast here in town real quick. Uh, and then we're just going to go as far as we can. Uh, it's going to get hot again. So we're going to try to make it at least as far as we can before it gets super hot. And then we're going to take the middle of the day off. And then we're going to ride again this evening. So, uh, yeah. We really enjoyed camping here last night in the little pavilion by the uh, thing over here. Got showers. It's all a good thing. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I can think of. We're going to go eat, get on the road, and you'll see more of that right about now. So we just rolled in here to the Bassett Lodge and Range Cafe for breakfast. You can see the Bassett Water Tower. I love these old water towers and these old uh, towns. But uh, yeah, we sat down and ate. And while we were eating, uh, a, a bunch of guys were over there talking. And when we got up to leave, uh, one of them had paid for our meal. Like, so thank y'all so much. We don't even know who they were. Uh, but it was very cool. What did you think about that, buddy? It was pretty cool. And also, they were, um, she was so nice to let me try it, like, it has, like, a Sprite, and then it has, like, a mango and coconut, and it tastes like a pina colada. It does. He's got a Sprite that tastes like a pina, pina colada. If you mix mango and coconut into a Sprite, that's what you come up with, so. Pretty Please cool. let me come to the Ray, Rain uh, Cafe, buy food, get it. Come to the Range Cafe. Lodge in Bassett, Nebraska. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> We're going to get on the road. Uh, 30 miles to Atkinson. There's a pool there. We're going to swim there for the hot part of the day. We're going to be with Forrest today. Yeah, we saw Forrest. Uh, um, Forrest is... Breon stopped in. We didn't see Forrest himself. We still haven't met Forrest. But Breon stopped in, saw our bikes, came and sat down with We're us gonna for a minute. We're going to meet him tomorrow. And yeah, we should, if we can make it to O'Neill tonight, then we'll have like breakfast with Breon and Forrest in the morning. Uh, so that's kind of our goal. First, first part is get through this high heat into the pool. Let's go. Love you guys. Hi, 
lights. I don't know what's going on with this, but we just found bison horn. I think that's what it is. Literally on the side of the highway. It's crazy. Uh, we're not keeping it, but I just thought that was very strange. Mine still has black hair on it. Mine does too. All right, guys, so we met Andreas, and he is uh, from Frankfurt, Germany. Yes. Tell him what you're doing out here, my friend. Hi, I'm doing a coast to coast. I came this way from east, from New York, where I started, 1st of June. Halfway, I'd say, in Nebraska, uh, it's getting less green, more dry, more sun, <laughs> hotter, everything you want, but I'm running into the Rockies, and I'm really looking forward to that. The Rockies are going to be spectacular. You're going to love it. I love the day when I see the mountains coming up in the distance. And I think it's 10 kilometers, but it's actually probably like 100. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, very cool. It was a pleasure meeting you. Good luck on your tour. Yeah. And you uh, too. Yeah. Thank Enjoy you so much. Enjoy He gave Liam some ice cold apple juice. So. Yes, he enjoyed it. Perfect timing. Thanks Take again. Take care, guys. All right, so we roll in here to the Southside Mini Mart in Stewart, Nebraska. We've got 9.5 miles to go to get to Atkinson to the pool. I think we may hold off there for the day. Uh, I was looking at going all the way into O'Neill this evening, but we have steadily been into the wind all day. Like, it's wind burnt, hot, uh, may do the pool thing, and then there's a little city park there in Atkinson that we could stay at, and then just kind of like wait for a day where we get a good strong tailwind to knock out a bunch of miles. Um, either way, we'll figure it all out. But it's hot. Like, I cannot explain it. It's just nasty, yucky, dry, oven, no humidity, kind of hot. So, trying to get to the pool, and yeah, you'll see more of that right about now. So we just got done at the Atkinson pool, and I met Cole here. Hi. He's he does awesome backflips. <laughs> All right, so we uh, just finished up here at the pool in Atkinson. Uh, we are now going to go to O'Neill, which is another 19 miles from here. We are 30 miles in. That's going to put us right at 50 for the day. Um, and that gets us back on kind of our target of 30 miles a day uh, for each day. If we do 50 tomorrow, we can get to a town with a pool and kind of do like a half zero thing like we've been doing uh, at the pool all day and then just go 10 miles. Uh, so I think everything looks good. Uh, swam for a couple hours here. I did not get in. Uh, I took a nap. 
Liam got in, he played hard, and now he's going to pedal hard. And we're going to knock out these last little uh, few miles. I did talk to uh, Forrest. They're taking a zero tomorrow in O'Neill. Uh, it looks like there's some inclement weather coming in, lightning and that kind of stuff. So I'll we might have take to, a zero. Yeah, I'll have to look at it and see. <laughs> but we can't get too far behind either. Another option that I have is it's 171 miles Cowboy Trail Highways all the way to uh, Sioux City. Um, we could just go straight shot from O'Neill down the highway and it's only 143 from here would mean 120 which would mean we'd get a full zero we just i don't think we'll be going through any of the towns or the pools or that kind of stuff that the cowboy trail has on it maybe we will i have not researched it out but tomorrow if it becomes a zero i will research it out and we'll find out more about it and we'll go to the pool tomorrow yeah, if it's lightning we wouldn't be able to go to the pool tomorrow. but yeah we'll figure it all out and uh first thing in order to be able to do that we got to pedal these bikes you ready bud oh yeah oh yeah Let's do this. All right, so we were just cycling down the highway. You're not going to be able to see it from here. But there's two bald eagles out here in this tree. And I spotted them. I was like, Liam, that's two bald eagles. He's like, where? <laughs> and so then I showed him in this tree and zoomed in on them. They are absolutely huge. What do you think about that, bud? I've never seen a bald eagle before. So, so cool. It's kind of cool. They are just majestic. I'm glad you got to see a bald eagle on this tour, bud. Very cool. Like there's two of them, one right here and the one down between them. Yep, yeah, one right below and we're looking at them. Cool stuff. So we rolled up on this sign and Liam said we gotta get a picture here. It says Sioux City, 133 miles. We're not gonna quite take 20 all the way there. We might, we might not. Don't know, feeling it out, praying about it, but that is the first time we've seen our destination in print, which is pretty cool. We've seen it at like 800 miles. Or... Yeah, yeah, I guess we saw it back at 800 miles from here. So this is the first time I can remember seeing it on like one of the, you know, green roadside signs. Anyway, we got a picture. We've only got eight miles to go left to O'Neill for our 50 mile day. Let's do this. Man, what a day. 50 miles with that nine-year-old. Unreal. So we got here to the Kearney Park and campground um, last night. Yeah, it's another morning. And there was a rodeo going on. I'm sure that I, you know, slowed down the video so you could see us pulling in. But there are there were horse trailers everywhere and horses everywhere. Like, it was crazy. Uh, so we got in, we got the tent set up, we got to sleep, and then this morning, as you can see, it's raining. So we just got packed up, like literally I put the last thing in the bucket, and God's perfect timing was there. As I put it in, the raindrops started to fall. You can see my shirt is just now starting to get little raindroppies on it. Um, just perfect timing. Unbelievable. Either way, uh, long video, I'm sure. Lots of footage, lots of things. Met a lot of people. 
Uh, Breon showing up at breakfast was cool. Uh, then meeting Sarah and her fam at the pool, or they, well, at the gas station, then 10 miles later at the pool uh, was super cool. Uh, Cole did a great job in the video, buddy. And, uh, yeah. Close. Get ready. Start the video. Crazy day. So, I'm going to end the video here for the day. If you know anybody who's passed away from addiction in any form or fashion, please drop their name in the comments or find me through the Papa link in the description and I would love to ride for your person and celebrate their life with you for a day. If you know anybody who's actively addicted, anybody in general, please share this with them. Thank you so much, Get Wrecked for Recovery Crew, every one of you that is liking every video, commenting on every video, sharing every video, and those of you that are subscribed to the YouTube channel. The analytics love it, we do too, and who knows, it might save a life. Don't forget Redeeming Eden is a nonprofit ministry through International Gospel Outreach. That link is also in the Papa link. You can go there. You can find out more about Redeeming Eden and about the Cody Jordan Forever Funeral Fund, which is a fund I started to help families that lose loved ones to addiction with paying funeral costs. So yeah, from here at Kearney Park and Campground in O'Neill, Nebraska, state number 39, uh, O'Neill also, strangely enough, being the Irish capital of Nebraska. There were shamrocks on the streets, shamrocks on the signs, shamrocks on the waitress last night. Like, interesting. Very cool. Very cool. They've also got their summertime super fest going on, which is why the rodeo's here. So, like, there's stuff going on on the 14th, 15th, today, the 16th, Saturday, big car show, 17th. Um, like, just, it's a huge summer fest weekend uh, here in O'Neill. But we can't hang out for that. We've got 50 miles to do. I think, again, I'm going to sit down and look at the map at breakfast, figure out, are we leaving the cowboy trail since we're not on it anyway? Is there a pool? Um, that kind of stuff. Now that, you know, this has changed from the Redeeming Eden Cycle Tour Ride to Rag Bride 22. Now it's 2022. Now it's the Redeeming Eden Cycle Tour Ride to Rag Bride 2022 Swimming Pool Extravaganza. Thanks, Dominic Barbaro. Uh, if you hadn't checked out his page on Instagram, it's The Sauce Is On. Oh, he's got some crazy good food pics. He's always posting them whenever I haven't eaten for like, you know, two days I've been eating dirt uh, and he's like here check out this gorgeous five-star culinary thing I made uh, love you brother my friend in Canada anyway uh yeah packed up rain's falling gotta go love you guys Jesus loves you we'll see you later have a good night